He didn't bite. Wingo crosses block. What a tackle from Beasley. <laughs> It is kind of full circle because I never thought I would be the old guy. <laughs> if anybody talks about me, I'm like, oh my God, he's still playing? You know, because I mean, I've been around for so long. I started at such a young age. I signed when I was 16. I played in four World Cups. Any kid's dream is to play for their country. Being the only American to play in four World Cups, you know, that's, <laughs> that's really cool, I guess, you know. That part, individually, is cool, but for me, it, you know, I cherish more of the moments that I share with my teammates off the field and, and on the field. You can't beat that. Being captain, for me, is an honor in itself. Having the support of your team, having the support of the coaches, it means a lot. You know, it really, it really does. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm not a screamer, I'm not a yeller, that's not me. I, I try to lead by example. I, I like to let my feet do the talking. With the younger players and the advice that I give is they have to find their own way. Every player is different. You find what works for you, you know, on and off the field. I learn every day, so you always want to keep learning, always. I think the theme of this team is definitely hard work. I think this year we're, we're a lot more hungrier, you know, we're a lot more complete as a team. So, yeah, the, the goal is always to, to win a championship. I was a big, big lover of jewelry when I was growing up. The flash, the diamonds, and that's always been a passion. I never thought I'd have my own line. I was very hands-on with picking every piece of my collection. It's not just my name, like I design pieces. My jewelry collection is very elegant, but very edgy. I wanted something different. You'll find rings, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and it's for boys and girls. The stuff for, for everyone, you know, for kids, for adults. Being a father to my daughter Leah has, has been a blessing and I wouldn't change it for the world. She's my little princess and it's really great that she can actually see and somewhat understand what I do and enjoy it as well. You know, before I, I, I would play, you know, obviously for, for my teammates, for myself, my family, but now I'm playing for her, especially when she's here and I know sometimes she's not here and she's watching the game on TV or something like that. You know, I can, I can hear my, my, my ear that she's saying, papa, papa, go, go, you know, so she's helped me be a better player because I have a different motivation, you know, now. What I love the most about this game is that football brings everyone together. You look at our stadium, we have so many different cultures in Houston. It's, it's very diverse. Even if you don't know the guy that's sitting next to you after the, after the game, you're, you're friends, you know, from a different country. You don't even speak the same language, but at the same time, you're all there for one, one reason, that's to cheer your team on. And that, that's why it's called a beautiful game, because it's not just about the players, it's the fans as well. They give us a lot of hope, you know, we're on the field, that we can win every single game.